All right, guys, we're gonna start this game room tour at the door. It's covered in Pokemon cards still. I'm not actually sure if it was when I was making regular videos, but I think it might have been. But if it if it wasn't, well, it's covered now. Um, so yeah, welcome to the game room tour, and let's get into it. So after you you turn facing away from the door, now you get to the first little uh, area. Um, this is also my bedroom, so keep that in mind. Uh, we got this whole, just a little, I don't know. I just kind of have this all here. Um, that's a laser baby I made. Anyways, um, that, that's really cool. Got all of, all of these. Some nice, uh, yeah, so the 3D All-Stars posters are kind of shitty. Um, they're nice quality, but like, even two years later, I guarantee you, if I were to take them off, it would still, like, kind of fold up. Um, I mean, you can still see it on the wall, actually. So, uh, I used blue tape to keep them up, and I should probably get them framed sooner or later. Um, so then when you turn more, you have this right here. This is right above my bed. In fact, right above where my head is, uh, probably shouldn't be. But you know what? That's fine. Uh, lots of people seem to think this little part is cool because it's just a bunch of junk from when I was like younger. Like like that Spider-Man back there is literally like a bathtub toy. Um, but you know what? I fuck with it. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, here's here's this. Um, that goes into a Starling poster I have, and then and then this is where I lay my head down every night. All right, next to my bed, we have the GameStop clearance shelf. This was in a GameStop that closed down. Uh, I use it as storage, like for shit that I don't want to see. Um, a nightstand, controller storage, and plushie storage. So we kind of got, oh, and and just like boxes go up there. Um, and like, so I have hats up there and some stuff. Uh, like the penguin hats up there, some other hats are up there. Uh, so yeah, and then down here, we got all the controllers, uh, two DK bongos, some Xbox, PlayStation, more PlayStation, uh, Wii and Wii U, only GameCube, Dreamcast and 64, and then Genesis, SNES, and NES. And then over here, we get to the, the plushies and then a garbage can, but mostly plushies. Uh, I got my two Morgana plushies in here. That's pretty nice. Uh, and then you come here, and we got uh, the Amiibo collection. Uh, I collect Amiibos, kind of. It's not like, if I see one that I want, I'll buy it. It's kind of like that. So, uh, yeah, that's, I have some sealed. I kind of want to open them, but I don't think I have a big enough shelf. Um, here, we have all of my Pokemon ETB uh, just, like, covers, I guess, that fold out into these little posters. I have lots of them. Um, they're, what, that's, like, eight, something like that. Plus, we got this McDonald's, uh, match battle Pokemon promotional thing. Um, yeah, that was really cool. Then we got my PC, uh, this is where I, this is where the magic happens, yeah, you could say that, this is where the magic happens, got my shitty Amazon knockoff DX racer, um, this chair, it, it sucks, don't buy one, okay, here we got the first shelf with games, uh, sorry about, like, I have multiple just piles of wires and shit, that's one of them. Don't ignore that. Anyways, down here we got some books, strategy guys, art books, manga, Askawada, other books that I like, CDs, and then uh, Starlink right at the bottom where it belongs. Used to have this little TV down here. Used to have that there. Um, then we got Xbox and Xbox 360 games. It go up. One more. 3DS, uh, PSP, PS Vita, Genesis, Dreamcast, my second Saturn game. I don't have a Saturn. Uh, Xbox One. Here we got Game Boy, Game Boy 
well, no, there's, I guess I don't have any complete in box Game Boy. Uh, Game Boy Advanced, Game Boy Color, DS, yeah, and DS, I guess, yeah, I guess. And then, uh, up here, we got some Wii U and some Switch games, uh, yeah. And then up here, at the top, we got pop vinyls that I don't care about, a Pokemon box I thought was cool, uh, you don't don't worry about the rest actually uh, oh and Beatles rock band but yeah don't you guys don't have to worry about that that's just uh me wasting my money I promise while we're on the uh you know shelvings of games we can go over here and start at the top here uh we got NES Advantage GameCube PS3 and then we got a Persona 25th anniversary I think it's a bag I think I'm not really too sure. Um, then we got some GameCube games. My GameCube collection. This is my favorite system. That's why it's like grown so much uh, since the last time you've seen it. Uh, I probably had 10 games on GameCube, maybe. Uh, now I have like 50 almost. Uh, it's like 48 or 46, something like that. Um, yeah, so we got some we got some nice quality tiles in here. I think the most expensive one I have is Skies of Arcadia Legends, which I got for free, funny enough. Uh, so yeah, we got this. Um, then down here we got Wii games. Uh, I love the Wii. Do I play it that much? Not anymore. I've bought back a lot of the games that I had when I was younger that I did sell. Um, I've also played some amazing games, like Resident Evil 4, I played that on the Wii, um, even though I played it with a GameCube controller. Uh, so yeah, we got some great Wii titles down there. Uh, I think the most expensive one down there is Rhythm Heaven Fever, which I got at a game store for like 15 bucks or so. Yeah, and that was recently too. Uh, next, we got some boxes and some more books. Uh, then we come to the next shelf. We'll go, we'll go top to bottom again. Uh, well, I guess we'll start up here. We got some Pokemon card stuff. Uh, a Lego Star Wars poster I got for free. A Dragon Ball poster that's been there for years. Uh, Mario Kart wheels. Some of those uh, Mario Hot Wheels, yeah. And then we got uh, the NES, not the NES, the N64 Mario, Super Mario 64 question block. Um, I haven't even opened that. I need to build it. I got it like a year ago. I still need to build that. Um, then we got Othello Complete. Uh, Legend of Zelda Complete. And then we got um, these these three games. Dennis the Menace, Super Play Action Football, and then Stunt Racer. All complete. Uh, and then this first shelf. We got the NES games. I think I have about 50 or so. Um some great games in there that i love super mario Bros. 3 amazing uh let's see what else oh uh slalom i think that's how you say it that was pretty interesting solar jetman is pretty fun uh mark mock rider is pretty fun kirby's adventure is one of my favorite nes games uh and then simon's quest also pretty fun game uh yeah so those are just some of the games i have on there super nintendo this is one of my favorite systems i'd say like nintendo wise this is like my third after the switch and gamecube uh yeah i have some pretty good games on here this collection has also expanded quite a bit uh especially i love game i have all three donkey kong country games i love all three of them so much f-zero is really fun i think f-zero i really wish that game would come back pilot wings i feel like people don't talk as much about pilot wings as they should this is another game i want to come back i loved pilot wings uh star fox really fun street fighter really fun stunt racer really fun super mario kart is one of my favorite mario karts i don't know why people shit on it it's supposed to be old i i you know i like super mario kart super mario world this is like top three games of all time so good so nostalgic uh super punch out haven't played it i'm not a big fan uh of the first one at least so i don't know how i'd feel about this one i just assume 
not as good as I'd hope. Tetris Attack, one of my favorite Super Nintendo games also. Uh, it's just a fun puzzle game. It's just fun to sit back and relax. I have a Famicom. I'm not sure if I did. I've had like a while ago, the last game room toy I recorded, especially because, um, you know, it's I've had it for so long. I don't even remember. Uh, I have some great games on here. Super Mario Bros. 3, uh, don't know this game. Don't know this game. Even though I bought it for five bucks, it's like 30. Uh, Hogan's Alley, really fun. This is like some stock trading game or something like that. It's like an e economic simulator, something like that. That's at least what I've heard. Uh, Formation Z, this is actually a really fun, like arcade shooter almost. Uh, but yeah, so th those, those were my Famicom games. Just had to go through them real quick for you. Um, down here, N64. Uh, you know what? If I want to play an N64 game, uh, I got these used with it already on it for like a dollar each. I don't care that they don't have N labels. If I want to pick out Smash, it's just like you just got to memorize, you know? So I, I have some great titles on the N64. Uh, I really like them. N64 games are great. Uh, I feel like I should play the N64 more than I do. And then we got my complete Donkey Kong bongos. All right, and I will show off the last shelf of games. On this bottom shelf, we have PS4. I love the PS4. I wish I got one when it came out. Uh, some of these games are so good, and I wish I had time to play all of them. Uh, Gravity Rush is really good, even though I didn't play it on the PS4. I played it on the Vita. Uh, I played Gravity Rush 2, though. Gravity Rush 2 is really fun. Last of Us is one of my favorite PS4 games. Uh, I want to play Nier Automata. Haven't yet. Uh, I want to play Niho. Haven't yet. I hope that's how you say it, at least. Uh, Persona 5 Royal. Such a good game. I love it so much. Uh, I want to play Shadow of the Colossus. And uh, there was one more that I played. I'm trying to think of what it is. Uh, yeah. So, uh, PS4, I, I've gotten a pretty sizable collection over the past year. Uh, then we'll go up. It goes to PS2. Uh, this is where I have all my PS2 games. I think it's just because I have a lot of them. Uh, let's see. Aqua Aqua, that's the sequel to Wetrix. Uh, I have most of the GTA games on PS2. Uh, I should probably get the others. Same with Hitman. I, th I don't know if I have all of them or just most of them. Uh... Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Uh, this is a very interesting one. This is like a, almost like a studio music thing. Yeah. Uh, Persona 3 and 4. Great games. Great games. Uh, Soul Calibur 2. I wish I had the GameCube one instead. And then uh, Tony Hawk games. Those are always great, I, even though I prefer them on the GameCube. Uh, then we go up. PS1, got some great games on here. Uh, Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo 2. I need to rearrange this. Oh my gosh, this is not... This is not in alphabetical order. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, Resident Evil 2, that's a fun one. Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, another fun one. Uh, PS3, got some good ones here. Bioshock and Bioshock 2. COD, uh, Last of Us. Persona 4 and Persona 4, or Persona 4 Arena and Persona 5. And then PS5. I do have a PS5. I got one in July? July or August of 2021. So I've had one for a very long time. Got some great games. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Really fun. This was the first PS5 game I actually got was Ghost of Tsushima. Such a good game. Uh... I, this is the real system that I need to play more games for. Uh, let's see. The ones I've spent lots of time with. Ghost of Tsushima, Riders Republic, Sackboy, and Spider-Man. Otherwise, most of these I haven't really touched, and I think I sh should play them. Yeah. And then on the very top, I got this for Christmas from one of my friends. Because uh, it's, you know, funny joke. And yes, it was, it was pretty funny, uh, cause it was also dirt cheap. It's not sealed. We got it sealed. I opened it, couldn't get it closed. So I had to tape the box shut. Um, so yeah, this is Among Us. And then 
we got my handheld systems, PSP and PS Vita. I love the PS Vita so much. One of my favorite, pl actually, it probably is my favorite PlayStation system. Uh, then we got my Nintendo handhelds, uh, DS Lite, 3DS XL. Uh, sh I swapped the shell on my Game Boy Advance SP. This is a modded Game Boy Advance that has a backlit screen, or an, an IPS screen, actually. This one is amazing. I love it so much. And then we got the uh, DSi XL and then the Game Boy Color. Uh, we go back, I still have this, which is really funny. Uh, and then I guess we gotta go to the last part of the room. I lied, this isn't the last part of the room. This is the, uh, this is, this is my shelf. I will my dresser or my nightstand or whatever you wanna call this. I made this. Um, in here, a bunch of Pokemon card stuff. In here. Uh, this is all Pokemon cards in here, and in here, this is all my loose, uh, Game Boy Advance, DS, 3DS, it's just all my loose handheld games, basically. Wii U gamepad, and then we got some McDonald's Happy Meals, we got the, the Mario Kart, and the Pikachu, and the Super Mario Bros. movie, and then right here, we got, uh, some more Pokemon card stuff, just more Pokemon cards, literally, these two lunch boxes are filled to the brim with Pokemon cards. Now on to the last part. So again, there's one of our wire, um, there's one of those wire piles that I was talking about. Anyways, uh, this is where I play my games on my couch or my like shitty Walmart futon. Uh, but yeah, this is where I spend most of the, most of the time playing my games. So we got... NES, SNES, N64, Jap- Oh, that N64, it's not a regular N64 either. It's smoke gray, so it's see-through. Um, then we got a Spice Orange GameCube with my WaveBird adapter attached to it. I love my Spice Orange GameCube so much. That was like, I, th I was like, that was the last thing I, re I needed. I guess I didn't need it, but like, yeah, you get the gist. That was the last thing I really wanted. Um, Wii, not plugged in. Wii U, that is plugged in. Um, then we got PS1, PS2, Xbox 360, Genesis, Dreamcast, and my Switch in there in the corner. Um, yeah. Uh, and then behind the TV, I don't know if you can, you can see it. Uh, my Xbox One S is just chilling there. Uh, then we got, we got some... I'll actually go up towards it. Uh, we got some cars, Hot Wheels, Legos, PS5. Here is the TV, the television. Yeah, we got that. Uh, then we got the old one. Um, and then on, we got the PS5. On top of the old one, we got my Sonic Lego set that I got for Christmas. Then we got some cool light fixtures. Uh, we got that. We got the Mario Odyssey, we got a uh, San Andreas poster, Persona 25th anniversary poster, and SMT4 Apocalypse poster, and then a shirt that doesn't fit me anymore. And then on the top, we got the Red Wii Complete. We got the Persona 4 Dancing Japanese Edition, uh, Soul Hackers on Saturn. Again, I don't have a Saturn, and also that's a Japanese copy. Uh-oh. Um, then we got... Persona 5 Standard Vanilla uh, Special Edition, Persona 5 Royal PS5 re-release Special Edition. Can you tell I like Persona 5? Uh, then we got the Senran Karaga. That is sealed. I, on God, I swear on my life, that is sealed. I will never open that, I hope. Uh, then we got Occubus Trip. I bought that opened. I'm sorry. Uh, I had a phase where I liked buying, like, shitty games like that. Uh, I probably just offended someone. Uh, then we got some of my bigger boxed Switch games. Uh, yeah, some of those. Some of the bigger box Switch games. Uh, then we got my Switch box. And then we got all of my Pro Controllers and Joy-Cons and stuff. I haven't opened the Splatoon Pro Controller yet. I probably will later, eventually. Uh, and then on the very top, on top of the Labo, 
Bayonetta 3 Special Edition sealed. It's still sealed. I don't know if I'm ever going to open it or not. Yeah. All right. Oh, right. And then we got the couch that... I guess I'll show you the couch. It has the Zelda blanket on it. Uh, it folds down into like a bed. It's a it's a Walmart futon. It's more comfortable than you'd think. Um, all right, guys. I, I hope you like the video, and I'll try to make more of them. Uh, so if you want more videos, uh, put videos in, or questions or just anything in the comments, and I'll either respond to them or make a video. All right. All right. Bye.